time to integrate Facebook commenting directly on our Rap Weaver websites. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and in this video, we're gonna teach you how to integrate Facebook's commenting system directly onto your RapidWeaver websites. And we're gonna use the new Comments 2 stacks that recently got shipped. Now this stack set implements both Discuss and Facebook. However, in this video, we're just gonna be reviewing how to implement the Facebook commenting system, okay? Now we're gonna show you how to integrate the comments on a static web page such as like a product page or something so that you know your users can interact on a static web page. And then we're gonna show you how to integrate Facebook commenting directly into Total CMS blog, okay? This is so you can have a full-blown commenting system powered by Facebook on your Total CMS blog. Really cool, very powerful. Let's jump in and see how easy it is. So here I am inside the comments demo file that ships with the stack. And what you'll notice inside the stacks library is we have the FB comment stack. That is obviously the Facebook comments stack. There's also the FB count stack, which we'll look at in a little bit. So in this example, we're gonna be implementing the Facebook comments on a static web page. Again, this could be a product page, it could be a services page. Again, it's just a static normal web page where you can add a comment thread. This is a great way to spark conversations with your customers and have it all encapsulated on your website. And what's great with Facebook comments, as we'll see in a little bit, it also gets you a little bit of Facebook sharing um, on the social network. So once you add this stack to your page, you'll notice inside the settings, you have Facebook username. The purpose of this is so that this is gonna be the username that is the administer of the Facebook comments. This allows you to moderate comments and edit them and maybe delete some comments or things of that nature, right? So this is gonna be your Facebook username that you wanna to use to edit your comments. You obviously have to be logged into Facebook for that to work, okay? Again, this is your actual personal username, not your company Facebook page name or anything like that. It has to be your actual username. Next up is the page URL. And this is gonna be the URL to this page, okay? The page that this comment is going to be tied to. So if you want to ever access or, or reference this comment thread again, you have to reference the exact same page URL. Next, the number of posts defines by default how many posts are gonna be shown on page load. You can obviously paginate through them, right? So you can say more comments and more comments. Next is gonna be the locale. So you can change the actual Facebook interface in terms of what language is shown. Um, you can change some of these sort by, right? Auto uh, lets Facebook determine what comments. You can then do time or reverse time for sorting your comments. And then lastly, you can also have a dark theme. By default, it's gonna be a light theme, okay, for light colored websites. And if you have a darker colored website, you're gonna wanna use the dark theme. So if we preview this page, you'll see that the comments actually do work inside RapidWeaver 7. Uh, which is nice. Um, obviously, I'm not logged into Facebook uh, from within Rapweaver, so we don't see the moderation tab here, okay? But what's really great here is that when a user adds a comment, you'll also notice there is a also post on Facebook post here, okay? Um, let's show you exactly what that means. So here we are on the comments preview site, and I'm on the Facebook comment stack demo page. And you'll notice that here, because I'm logged into Facebook on this particular browser, um, I have a moderation tool. And if you were to click on that, you'll see that it takes me to the Facebook moderation page for this particular comment thread. So then I can approve or I can hide uh, various posts. I can report some posts as spam, so on and so forth. So now back to the preview site. If I go ahead and post a comment, and then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna check also post on Facebook. And I'm gonna click post. So if we go ahead and look at my Facebook feed, we'll see that because I checked that little check mark, it posted the comment to my thread along with a link to that page on my feed. So that means when your visitors actually comment on your posts and they check that box, they will actually be posting to their timeline along with a link to your web page. So now that we've implemented the Facebook comments, what if we wanted to actually display the count for all of those comments on a different web page, right? 
That's what the FB count stack that we saw in the stacks library is for. When you add that stack to your page, you'll see that we have a few settings here that are pretty obvious. The first is gonna be page URL. This URL needs to match the same exact URL that you entered in to the Facebook comments stack. The label is the actual label that will be added after the number. So if you want five comments, two comments, so on and so forth, okay? Then we added a bunch of options for alignment, uh, what fonts are available. So we integrate with foundation as well as font pro or the default inherits from your theme that you're using. And the style also integrates with foundation as well as font pro, as well as some custom styles as well. Now I have noticed that Facebook does keep the comment count pretty accurate and pretty quick. But if at times you ever post a comment and you notice that the count isn't exactly perfect, give it a few minutes and it will probably update itself, okay? And obviously, as we see here, when you click on the comments link, it actually takes you to the URL that's defined inside the settings for that comment stack. So that pretty much does it for implementing um, Facebook comments on a static web page, right? Again, these are going to be static web pages that you're going to build with stacks. So it's going to be, um, you know, a product page or a services page or an about us page or something of that nature, right? What we're going to dive into now is integrating Facebook comments into your Total CMS blog. And what's really awesome about this is that Total CMS takes care of a lot of the background stuff for us so that we get unique individual comment threads for every single blog post. So let's see, jump in and see how easy that is. So inside the same comments to demo file, you'll notice that there is a Facebook blog page. And this page, you'll see that there is a blog list stack. Now here, I'm not gonna review how to implement Total CMS or any of the settings for the CMS here, okay? Um, go ahead and check out a lot of the videos that we have already made for Total CMS blog. But what you will notice is inside the blog list stack, there is a new child stack here. So when you click on plus, you will see that there is a new Facebook count stack. Now this is the child stack that you're gonna wanna use you are not gonna use the FB count stack that is inside the stacks library. You should be using the Facebook count child stack inside blog list. Now the reason for this is that Total CMS takes care of a lot of the settings that we see in the background. As you see here, there is no page URL to configure. The reason is because the blog takes care of that for us. All you need to do is configure what you want your label to be and some of the style options. And you're done. And you'll notice in preview that we have nice comment counts for every single blog right in our blog list. Now on our blog post page, we need to embed the Facebook comment thread, right? So inside the blog post stack, you will notice that just like the blog list, there is a new child stack and it is called Facebook comments. Again, you're gonna wanna use this Facebook comments child stack and not the FB comment stack that is inside the stacks library. The reason for that is this Facebook comment stack actually has a lot of automation, just like we have in blog list. You do not need to configure the page URL, right? You just need to set the base things such as FB username, the number of posts you want to display and your theme options. So what your locale order and theme light or dark theme is going to be. And that's all that you need to worry about. So as you see, implementing Facebook comments is really simple with these new stacks, right? Just drag and drop, adding a few little key things, and especially with the blog integration, the stack does all the hard work for you, right? And really, I like the Facebook comments. I have to say I'm surprised because um, the, the post to Facebook thing gets you some social sharing, right? Um, some interaction on Facebook with your users, right? So I think it's a really big win. It's a nice clean comment thread. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you, you know, go ahead and implement Facebook and give it a shot um, and get some social sharing going, get some, you know, interaction on Facebook with your customers. And hopefully you'll get a little bit more traffic because uh, you have comment stacks um, that integrate directly into Facebook. So I hope you learned some things out of this video. I hope you enjoy the comment stacks and happy weaving. Bye.